Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. We are, uh, what time is it? It's like 11.30, 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. and we're not even close to being done. Well, we have to be at the barn by two. Yeah, we have to leave at, at 2.30, because we have to leave at, we ride at, at 3.30, so we have to leave at 2.30. So we have um, lots of time. Um, the girls are still doing school. They're doing book reports today. So if he's doing a book report on, show them your book. Bell Star. Bell Star uh, Horse Diaries. And what happened? Just give them a quick overview. This girl named Katie, she um, saved this girl from the river. Um, and Levi's eating the... Oh dear, this is not cool. Levi. <laughs> no, we're not eating windows. That's not cool. Um, okay, so she wanted to save, Katie wanted to save Eliza from? The river, because she was like about to drown. Right, and what was she really saving her from? The slave catchers. Right, so Sophie learned all about the slave catchers, and where was she trying to get Eliza so she would be safe? Canada. Canada, because Canada is cool, right? Hashtag Canada is awesome. And Gabby is eating her pear over here, her lunch, the beginning of her lunch. I'm about to make lunch. Um, but you know, like when you're 11 and fancy, you cut up your pear and eat it with a fork because that's what's cool, <laughs> right? Um, and anyways, what they're book? They're dry. They're really dry? So you like juicy pears? Okay, so what book are you doing? So I'm supposed to read this book first. So I blame it on mom. Yeah, I gave her the wrong book for Christmas. She gave me this book first. So she's reading so Angel, Angel and the Flying Stallion. I read. Yeah, so she, that's what How she's doing. How much weeks have I read this? For like two? Yeah, so. Two weeks and I'm finished it. They only read. 222 pages. They only read 30 minutes a day. Otherwise, Gabby could read that in a day probably. Oh get away from the plant, dude. Hi. He's like a baby. Like, get away from the plant. Good God, peace. Okay, Levi. Okay, I gotta walk away from the plant. Anyway, so give us a quick overview of what happened in your book. Uh, she went to reclaim her horse, Storm. Where, where her horse is named Storm? Night Storm. Night Storm, and what was? She was born in a storm at night. Wow, I have a friend whose uh, horse was born in a storm and in a mud puddle, big, huge mud puddle. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know. Oh, no! Levi, dude, he's a baby. <laughs> he is like a baby. He is. He's okay. A <laughs> um, so did she save him? Did she reclaim him? Yeah, but they were like in some place in um some place um they were training him for like dressage, but then they didn't really get to train him. They had him when he was like cold. So it all turned out good? Yeah, he's like part Arabian, part Louisiana. Oh, that's cool. So I didn't tell you guys, but our coach found a, found a horse for you. It's a pony. And guess what breed it was? What? Quarter horse, thoroughbred. Shoot, I forget. What other, what horses are there? Quarter horse. Ow! Okay, so dude, do not bite my elbow. He's like, he's like a two-year-old. He's like... Dude. Well, he's a three-year-old, so he's yeah, a three-year-old. Yeah, he's three. He is three. He's a bratty three. Say hi to our friends, Levi. Um, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys. Oh, I just remembered. It was a halflinger. It was a halflinger, and it was gorgeous. And I kept saying, so we kept weighing our options. I kept weighing our. Just when I'm gonna show the girls, but Levi's going for my phone. Like, nope, nope, can't happen. Oh, he's going for your last. All right. Oh man. Okay, Levi. Chill there. Oh, he flies. Move your chair flying. away. Move your chair away. Yeah, see, we don't clip his wings because I want him to be able to fly. Oh, guys, we got a tree pack. Yeah. And Levi was on there and he flew all the way to right here. Yeah, I'm going to make a really beak fun. Mark. I have a beak mark in my blind. Do you? From Levi. Uh oh. <laughs> He's going for the straw. All right, let him have the straw. You have the straw. Anyway, I'm gonna make a video soon on how we're gonna use our treat box now that we are tra practicing self-control and eating portions and eating healthy. I'm gonna show you guys how to incorporate your treat box into that. No! No! Yeah, he can have a pair. Oh, okay. Let All him right. just take his own. See how sneaky he gets? Okay, cutest horse on earth. 
is 14.2 hands high and he's done a lot of different things but there are so many questions so like he he's sweet and I just kept saying he's so cute but I don't think he's right for us like, I would love a halflinger but we have to be really picky about what we get it has to be like so super versatile and and I was talking to our coach and I was like you know I, I don't I don't even know what we need because we have Storm who's perfect for Sophie but Gabby will never ever give him up and Gabby really does need a horse that can take her to the next level because she really has reached the next level. But it, yeah. I'm proud of you, Gabby. You spend in your share in your pear with Levi. I'm actually shocked Levi is eating a pear. Look at how he picks it up. Oh, he's gonna put it back. Nope. Now he's going for the pencil. I am getting supper ready, so um we're gonna have a different kind of vegetable. Usually I'll put carrots in here, but I just have a roast and some potatoes. And I'm gonna slow cook that. Ooh, in our oven so that it's ready for us when we get back from riding. Forty-five minutes before our lesson. I wanna hold it. I wanna give it to you. And it takes us 45 minutes. It takes us 45 minutes to get ready. This is wild. And it, it's going back up. Yeah, that's battle. Wild. battle. Gotta battle the ice, you guys. Okay, go slow. Go slow, because this mama doesn't want to fall. But look at this, you guys. Like, progress is being made. Anyway, um, it is cold. It is earlier than our Tuesday lesson. We're starting to have lessons later in the day. There's a horse I laying see, down on top oh, of the hay. Oh, I see a horse I laying down. And I see Stormy and I see Stella and she is staring at us. <laughs> she knows. Stormy and Stella are staring at us. <laughs> Wait, Dad, you need to hold. Well, I'm here. You need to hold this because I need to catch my pony. You need to hold these two. Right. Stella's new field, which means that Sophie won't be fra afraid ever again. We do. We love that mare that Stella's in with. But Mella, Stella seems like. How are you liking your new friend, Stella? Oh! <laughs> Perfection! See, you guys, it's just that she doesn't love us better than her friends yet. Ah, they're such a good pair. She's like, bring me. I I want to buy her. If she goes up for sale, we're buying her. She's mom. a cutie. <laughs> and Storm was ready too. Met Gabby right at the gate. Gabby's over there screaming, yay! Friend, I want you to come walk up to us with Stella. <laughs> Stella learned. Oh, my friend's gonna come with me. What a difference, eh? What a difference. I'm just glad I didn't have to walk that far. Mm -hmm. We brought a little pony, so and all scared. the horses are a little nervous of her. <laughs> okay, now make a plan. Watch out, Sophie. Watch out, Gabby. Sophia. Don't scare her. Be gentle. Are you a stallion ready to squeal? Oh gosh, Gabby. Watch out, Sophia. He's like, what should I do? Is he? Yeah. Well, he was.
so you guys know, we might be on baby watch. So Jesse had an appointment for you guys who don't know. My youngest son is having a baby anytime now. My daughter-in-law went to the doctor today. She's two and a half centimeters dilated. She's having lots of cramps and lots of signs that this baby could be on the way. So we are on baby watch. Jesse's super grouchy, which is such a good sign. And I had to tell my son, like, just let her be grouchy if she's grouchy. Just let her be. Like, it's, it's awesome to be a mom. And anyways, yeah, so by the time you see us again after this vlog, we, I might have a new grandbaby. Okay, so this saddle is an Antares. Is this. And it is for sale at our barn. It's adorable. Um, definitely better than the one that Stella has now. So we are going to try it out and uh, see if it fits her. Oh, try it out with Stella? Yeah. Our saddle should be in soon, hopefully. Obviously, we're having somebody else fit it, but it seems too small. Does it seem too small? I don't know how to fit. Yeah, we don't know what we're looking at, but it seems like it's small. It seems like it fits too small. Seems like it fits to you. All right, you guys, let's see who's right. I don't think it fits. So, isn't it crazy how you come and you get Storm away from his food and he's like a basket case and then you come at a regular time and he's like, yeah, okay, I'll do it. Not bad at all, lady. How's it feel? Talk to me, baby. I've been waiting for a lifetime. Just keep on fading. Good, 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 good. 
meter circle up here. Well, your sister's got to go straight. You're going to run into her. Good job. Outside leg. Outside leg. Outside leg. Look where you want to go. Outside leg. Oh, bless you. Halfway down the wall. Good Trauma. girl. Good job. Now, Kimberly. <laughs> Stella, face Kaylee. Stop. Kimberly, She's lift snorting. your arm slowly over your head. Faster than that. Faster than that. And now drop them slowly. And do it a couple more times and slowly get faster. Good girl. There. 
Good, and then make them swoosh on your coat a little bit. Now walk up to her and pet her. Good girl! Because she's got to learn that that's okay, right? She can't be afraid of that. Kaylee wasn't trying to scare her, but the noise that her arms made when they slapped down her side, she's like, what? <laughs> Laura's having a moment. <laughs> Trot straight up to her, Gabby, and then just swerve past her. And then you're just gonna go right. Yep, past her. Good girl, okay. yay. So it works a lot better when Storm eats right after his lesson, right? He's like, yes, I'm eating. So he was a lot better today. Too much grain makes him spooky. Yeah. And then when he has his dumb moments, he spooks out anything. Yeah, so how he does did you- not spook at the scary things, but he spooks at the- How did you feel that Stella spooked today? It's fine. Um, if any of you guys are like curious, that saddle actually fits Stella. So I don't know if it fits me, but it would be great if it could fit me. Good job, Dad. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.